हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सेंटर मैप एंड आई परविंद अग्रवाल योर लॉजिकल रीजनिंग मेंटर सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड अ डिस्कशन बेस्ड ऑन शैडो रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स सो एज आई टोल्ड यू डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइम द पोजीशन ऑफ द सन एंड शैडो विल बी फिक्स्ड सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई से दैट ड्यूरिंग द मॉर्निंग द पोजीशन ऑफ द सन विल बी इन द ईस्ट डायरेक्शन एंड द शैडो विल अपीयर इन द वेस्ट डायरेक्शन एंड if i am facing towards the sun then my shadow will appear behind me and if i am facing opposite to the sun then in that scenario my shadow will appear in front of me so we have discussed all the different different cases which are possible okay so now we will discuss some more examples and then we will move to type 3 category which is simple rotation at a particular angle either in the clockwise direction or anti clockwise now in this question at the time of sunset rahul and pooja were walking towards each other and the time is sunset now what is happening rahul's shadow fell upon pooja so in the previous questions we were discussing about that one person's shadow is falling to the left or right but here rahul's shadow fell upon pooja in which direction pooja was facing so always remember one thing when we say that one person's shadow fell on the left or right then the answer will be either north or south in that case but when we say that one person's shadow fell upon another in that case the answer will be either east or west okay so directly we can eliminate south and north now how we can get the right answer so as i told you what is going to be the step number 1 directions step number 2 depending on the time it is sunset so the position of sun is in the west direction and the shadow will appear in the east direction and the shadow will appear in the east direction now what is given rahul's shadow fell upon pooja now in which direction shadow will appear in the east direction so that means now shadow will appear here now what is happening that the shadow of rahul fell upon pooja so that means for example if rahul is standing here if rahul is standing here now see rahul is standing here and facing towards pooja and if pooja is standing here so it's rahul and pooja now you can see when rahul is standing here facing towards east direction in that scenario the shadow will appear in front of rahul and in front of rahul who is standing pooja so that means the shadow of rahul fell upon pooja that's it so that means in which direction pooja was facing so you can see pooja was facing in the west direction and what about rahul rahul was facing in the east direction so when this is the case you can see that the shadow of rahul will fell upon pooja because the sun's position is behind rahul now suppose if i am rahul sun is behind me now my shadow will appear in front of me now my shadow is in front of me and who is standing in front of me pooja that means my shadow is falling upon pooja so rahul is facing in east direction and pooja is facing in west direction so answer is option a west so when i say that if one person shadow fell upon another in that case answer will be either east or west one more question based on the same concept at the time of sunrise sachin and ajay were talking towards each other were walking towards each other sachin shadow fell upon ajay in which direction ajay was facing now see again we have three steps step number 1 step number 2 it's sunrise so the position of the sun is in the east direction and the position of shadow is in the west direction that means whatever the possibility is 
the shadow will always appear in the west direction because it is the sunrise time now what is happening sachin shadow fell upon ajay that means for example if sachin is here if sachin is standing here and the sun is behind sachin in that case only the shadow of sachin will appear in front of sachin okay and that means the shadow of sachin is here and who is also standing here in front of sachin it's ajay that's it so ajay is standing here that's it so sachin will be facing in the west direction and ajay will be facing in the east direction in which direction ajay was facing east option b east is the right answer so you just have to see that whose shadow fell upon whom so here sachin shadow fell upon ajay and we know that the shadow will appear in the west direction so that means if sachin is facing in the west direction and sun is behind sachin the shadow will appear in front of him and who is standing in front of him that is ajay because in that case only the shadow of sachin will fell upon ajay and ajay will be facing in the east direction so here the right answer is b east now type 3 as i told you it is a simple rotation based questions at a particular angle either in the clockwise direction or anti clockwise okay as i told you that here directly clockwise and anti clockwise is given and when we said right or left that is also very important to understand you can always remember one thing when i am talking about right you always move clockwise at an angle of 90 degree and when i say you left you always move anti clockwise at an angle of 90 degree so when we did type 1 where we were using left and right and we were rotating at an angle of 90 degree but here the angle is different only the difference is this only between type 1 and type 3 now initially a man is facing west and turns through 45 degree clockwise again 180 degree clockwise and then turns through 270 degree anti clockwise in which direction is he facing now now you will draw the diagram then you will be having west then clockwise then clockwise then anti clockwise do you know, need to do this no so you can do one thing step number 1 have the directions first now what is the initial what is the initial what is the initial direction west whenever i say clockwise you always consider plus so that you don't get confused and when i say anti clockwise just consider minus so clockwise is how much 45 degree again it's clockwise 180 degree and then anti clockwise so do one thing minus 270 degree now get the resultant value 180 plus 45 minus 270 so what will you get here you will get minus 45 degree that means from the initial position west you have to rotate 45 degree and that to minus and what does minus represents here as i told you initially anti clockwise so from here we will rotate anti clockwise how much degree 45 degree so this is 45 degree now in which direction he is facing now so what direction is this so this is south and west so it is between south west option d south west is the right answer so which direction south west because from the initial position we are rotating at an angle of 45 degree and that too in the anti clockwise because the resultant is minus and we had already decided that plus is for clockwise and minus is for anti clockwise okay so plus for clockwise and minus for anti clockwise next one now a man is facing south so step 1 is common so initially south now 135 degree anti clockwise anti clockwise means minus 180 degree clockwise plus in which direction he is he facing now now see 135 degree anti clockwise so minus and 180 degree 
clockwise so plus what is the resultant 45 degree and that is plus that means now you have to rotate 45 degree in the clockwise direction that's it so this is west so what is the right answer here it is again southwest this questions are very simple southwest option d southwest is the right answer am i clear option d southwest a man is facing northwest he turns 90 degree in the clockwise direction and then 135 degree in the anti clockwise direction in which direction is he facing now so initially what is given initially northwest is given so this is what northwest this is the initial position northwest now 90 degree in the clockwise that means positive 135 degree in the anti clockwise that means negative what is the resultant value minus of 45 degree 90 minus 135 minus 45 so you have to rotate anti clockwise how much 45 degree what will be the final position here that is west answer is option b west is the right answer option b west a man is facing northwest he turns 90 degree in the clockwise and then 180 degree in the anti clockwise direction and then another 90 degree in the same direction see 180 degree in the anti clockwise direction and then another 90 degree in the same direction so here the same direction means anti clockwise because we will follow this direction only because we are see if i take a left turn and if i am saying okay take the same turn that means what initial turn i have taken that is left then again i have to take left so when i say same direction we will just follow the previous one so that is anti clockwise what is given initial position that is northwest northwest is the initial position now 90 degree in the clockwise direction so plus 180 degree in the anti clockwise so minus and then again 90 degree anti clockwise so minus so c plus and minus gets cancelled what you are getting the resultant is minus of 180 degree minus of 180 degree that means you have to rotate an angle of 180 degree and that too in the anti clockwise but see when we are when we are talking about 180 you rotate either in the clockwise or anti clockwise the output is same that is here so this is what 180 degree you are rotating so this is south and this is east so here the right answer will be southeast which is given to you in option d southeast is the right answer option d southeast i am facing east i turn 100 degree in the clockwise direction and then 145 degree in the anti clockwise in which direction is he facing now so what is the initial direction so that is east now see 100 degree in the clockwise direction so plus and 145 degree in the anti clockwise direction so minus 100 minus 145 it will give you minus of 45 degree minus of 
so that means you have to rotate in anti clockwise at an angle of 45 degree so this is going to be anti clockwise at an angle of 45 degree so this is what 45 degree and here it is north so what it represents here which direction northeast which is given to you in option b northeast is the right answer next one okay now there are some mixed questions or we can say miscellaneous type based on type 1 or type 3 a child is looking for his father he went 90 meter in the east before turning to his right he went 20 meter before turning to his right again to look for his father at his uncle's place 30 meters from this point his father was not there from there he went 100 meters to his north before meeting his father in a street how far did the son meet his father from the starting point simple follow the instructions and draw the diagram so initially 90 meters in the east so if we are moving 90 meters in the east so this is 90 meters and we are moving in the east direction now before turning to his right he went 20 meters okay so now from here right right means clockwise at an angle of 90 degree how much 20 meter he went 20 meter before turning to his right again to look for his father at his uncle's place 30 meter from this point so again from this point he is taking right turn right turn means clockwise direction at an angle of 90 degree and how much distance he covered 30 meter now this is what uncle's place and his father was not there from there he went 100 meter to his north now see from here 100 meter to his north so this is going to be the north and 20 is already covered this is what 80 so he went 100 meters to his north before meeting his father in his street so here his father is there in a street and this was the starting point how far did the son meet his father from the starting point so we can have the minimum distance between starting point and his father final point and see what is this value now so total is 90 90 minus 30 so this comes out to be 60 now this is a right angle triangle you have to find out hypotenuse it's a triplet 8 comma 6 comma 10 so already it's 80 60 100 so you will get what you can take the 80 means 6400 60 means 3600 it will be 100 meter so yes it is option b 100 meter is the right answer uh, option b 100 meter is the right one clear so answer is 100 meter now this question is important here we will understand some very important concept which is not so tough but it's somewhat different Deepa moved a distance of 75 meter towards the north she then turned to the left and walking for about 25 meters turned left again and walked 80 meters finally she turned to the right at an angle of 45 degree so it is a combination of type 1 and type 3 in which direction was she moving finally so initially we will start from 75 meter towards the north so this is what 75 meter towards the north so 75 meter towards the north and she turned to the left so left means anti clockwise direction and how much distance she covered that is 25 meter now turn left again and walk 80 now left means anti clockwise at an angle of 90 degree 
and how much distance 80 now what is given finally she turned to the right at an angle of 45 degrees now understand very carefully when i said that when i say right that means we are rotating at an angle of 90 degree in the clockwise direction but here we have to be very precise because it is already given in the question that you need to rotate at an angle of 45 degree not 90 degree but you have to rotate in the right direction that means clockwise but at an angle of 45 so see when i say at an angle of 90 clockwise so this is what 90 degree 90 degree with respect to which line so this one only we will extend here see so with reference to this this is 90 degree but how much we need to rotate with reference to this dotted line that is 45 that too in the clockwise so that means we will start from here and we will rotate only 45 that's it so from here we are moving at an angle of 45 in the right direction that means you are here not here now this is the only difference if it would be 90 then the position b should be there if i say 45 a and if i say 135 then 90 plus 45 so this a represents you will get to understand the difference b will represent 90 degree and c will represent c 135 degree that is in the clockwise direction so in which direction was she moving finally so she is moving finally in this direction which one this one so which is this it is west it is south so south west is the right answer option d south west is the right answer so if see this is the reference line and you are moving 90 degree okay so this is the reference line now I am moving 90 degree so I will move what 90 degree with reference to this like this so this is what 90 degree okay so this is what 90 I am moving this but I need to move 45 so I will only move this one as 45 that much only this is what 45 degree that's it understood so here answer is southwest is the right answer option D southwest am i clear okay and there is one more concept which i have also explained you like in certain questions there might not be given the initial direction that the initial direction might be missing and in the question final direction is given then they will ask you that what is the initial direction for example just take an example Okay, see, I am just making a diagram, any random diagram, any random, okay. That's it. So, I am starting from point A and I reach that point D. Point E. So, it is B, A to B, B to C, C to D. Now, in the question initially it was not given that in which direction you need to move whether it is north south east or west so i just moved randomly in the east direction this is what i assumed now the question says now the question says that this final direction this final is what is north direction that your final direction that the final direction is north okay if any person rahul is starting now the final direction of Rahul is north. That means Rahul is facing in the north direction. What is the direction of Rahul when he started? Okay, when he started from this point. Are you getting me? There is one diagram. According to the question, for example, we had got this diagram and initial direction was not given. So I have taken any random direction that is east. And accordingly, I followed and I got this one. But the question says that at the final destination, Rahul is facing north. So, what 
is the direction of the rahul when he started initially so if for example if this was north then the direction of rahul initially would be east but we know it is not north it is south now you just see it's very simple now so it is south and we need to make it north because the final destination where rahul is standing rahul is facing in the north direction so in order to make it north i will rotate this final position i will rotate this final position by 180 degree because i have to rotate 180 in order to make it north so if i rotate it 180 degree in order to make it north the same angle and in the same direction i will rotate the initial so what is the initial what is the initial initial is east so that means you will rotate 180 degree clockwise that's it so now what you are getting it is west so that means initially rahul was facing in the direction that is west so he started initially in the west direction understood or not so this is the way so in order to get the final position how much you are rotating the final position and what angle you have to do the same operation with respect to the initial position if you are rotating 180 degree in the clockwise you have to rotate the initial position also with an angle of 180 degree in the clockwise direction okay so this is all about direction and distance in which we had covered all the three types of category which are important from the examination point of view so this is all about today's class thank you so much like and share with your friends and subscribe to our centum app youtube channel